So tonight I went to Google because I wanted to look for a couple of motivational pictures. So I know an excellent Feldenkrais lesson, which is for making the chest more flexible, which looks just about the same. And let's go into the lesson. And then put your cheek onto the floor and the hands left and right of the head, the elbows towards the ceiling and the knees you have to bring in a good position, not too far away because that's just stupid and not too close, but in a way, let me not undress, in a way that makes sense. It's all about making sense. So. For some people the chest is very stiff and then the chest goes like this into the ground and the head is just like completely bent in the neck. We don't don't over don't overdo in your don't bend too much in your neck. If your chest is super stiff, don't try to put your cheek onto the floor, but put your forehead decide your left or right temple on the floor. We'll do both sides. Just choose left or right, doesn't matter really. So if your chest is too stiff, it's more the forehead. If your chest is already okay, you can put more your cheek on the floor and, the and protect your neck with your hands, with the power of your hands and arms. And the first movement is to roll more onto your crown top of your head and then roll more onto your cheek and more onto your chin and please be super 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 careful with this don't hurt yourself this is important do not hurt yourself you have to make it comfortable make it slow enough so it's really comfortable put the cheek on the floor the neck is protected by your arms and the movement should be in your chest you can think of this you can think of the cat camel pose, yeah? Think of the cat camel pose to roll your cheek on the floor back and forth and whenever you want, take a break. You can do this like for three seconds and then take a break. And that's why I love space. I love to have space. Nothing feels better than lying on the floor after a work day, uh, after a day's work. Anyways, we need to get busy. So the first move, come to onto your knees again if you aren't. The first movement was to roll the head more onto the temple and more onto the cheek or the chin using your chest and not your neck. Second move is, so this was a line in this direction. Now we make a line in the other direction. So you roll more onto your nose and more onto the back of your head. So we have two lines perpendicular to each other, which means they cross each other in a 90 degree angle. You roll more onto your nose and more onto the back of your head with the help of your arms and the help of your chest. Don't use your neck to do this. The neck is just something in between your head and your chest. This work should be done in the chest and at any time, take a break. You can take a break before I take a break. Please be nice to yourself. Short time. And we'll do it again. So let's do it. The first movement was up and down. Yeah. The second movement is left and right. The third movement, logical consequence, little circle. Little circle with your side of your face. Yeah. Up to the nose, to the chin, to the back of the head, up to your hair to your crown, 
in front to your nose, to your chin, to the back of your head, up to your hair, little circle, do it with your chest, do it with your arms, make it comfortable, you can stop the video at any time, take a break, then I take a break, it's more strenuous for my arms actually, I should do some push-ups, don't do push-ups, <laughs> just kidding, all right, uh, then circles, fourth movement, circles in the other direction, other direction, if, if you did clockwise circles before, then it's counterclockwise circles, yeah, and then take a break on your back, I check, is the sound recording okay, yes, <sighs> okay, very short break. Next movement, number five. Now it gets more sophisticated. Bring back your chin, your, your cheek on the floor. So I have my left cheek on the floor. This, now I put my left arm underneath my body towards my right hand. If you're on your right cheek, you have the opposite. You have to bring your right hand under your, underneath your chest towards your left hand. So, this is the twist we saw with the girl in the yellow background. Now we do left right again. Push with your hand to roll more onto the back of your head and then roll more onto your nose again. Roll more to the back of your head. Roll. You see, this is a very strong constraint. You have to move in your chest. Now you can't move that much in your, in your neck anymore. You can, but you also need to roll over your left shoulder, or maybe it's your right shoulder. Anyways, you have to roll over the shoulder, which is on the floor, and use your chest to roll. Use your chest to roll. Back and forth, you can have it with your knees, position your, in your knees in a place that makes sense. Roll backwards and forth, roll backwards. So we want to explore a little bit, but it's strenuous. It's difficult to explore when it's strenuous. So we need to get comfortable. Maybe you do this lesson again tomorrow or again on the weekend or the next weekend and then it will be more easier already. Now I take a break, maybe you want to take a break too. Yeah. And then come back into this position. Uh, the next thing we do, please lift your standing hand, lift it towards the ceiling. Well, now I have to reposition the camera. Uh, just a second. Uh, okay, now like this. Your hand towards the ceiling. Try to make yourself comfortable on this shoulder your hands towards the ceiling and then start to turn your arm around its axis. So you don't make circles, but you turn your arm around. And that's a difficult study point. Uh, in class, I usually walk around and I help people find this movement because it's a really difficult movement if you have not done it before, haven't found it before. Just continue like this, but when you turn your arm around its axis, then there starts to be a movement in the shoulder. Try, try to find this movement in the shoulder. What is your shoulder doing? If you want to take breaks, take breaks. Start again, try to find the shoulder movements because at some point your shoulder will be closer to the floor 
and more further away from the floor. Your shoulder will move up and down while your arm is rotating around the axis. And start to make this movement bigger, like almost you exaggerate it. And also start to move your, your chest, yeah? And roll your head on the floor. So at some point, you roll your head more towards the ceiling. And at some point, you roll your head more towards the floor. And the better you become at this movement, the, the further you... And always adjust yourself. See, where do you have to put the left arm? Do you have, is, are there better positions for the left arm to do this movement? Yeah. You can really you can stop the video if you if you need more time and explore this movement. Really find how to do it. Don't it, you shouldn't strain yourself. It should be you should feel comfortable with this movement. You can get up like I do, that's something very nice to get up and then come down again on the floor because then you have a break in between, a pause, and you can start the movement completely anew. Yeah. Bring the arm towards the ceiling and start to turn it. Take care of yourself. Be careful. And so is rolling the head on the floor. And then take a break. Uh, my left side feels very different from my right side, especially my left shoulder. My left shoulder is, feels, even though I was lying on my left shoulder, it feels more flexible. It was like I was working with my left shoulder instead of my right one. Very interesting. Oh, I like it. Okay, then come back into the first position where you were on your knees. See if your knees are still in the same position or if they already started to reorganize themselves and then put your head onto the blanket. With both of your hands standing left and right and see, is it more comfortable already? And uh, move your head up and down and left and right, and two circles, and see, feel if there's more movement in your, in your chest than before. For me, definitely. Definitely, much, much more flexible, very short time, quite amazing. I love this lesson. I should do it more often. <clears throat> Pause? I don't know. Let us do the other side really quickly. Other side. Bring the other cheek on the floor. And then it's rolling the cheek up and down. with the help of the chest, then towards the nose, towards the back of the head, left and right. Oh, I can feel more of my chest now. It's completely different. I have new sensations. My awareness has broadened. I can feel a lot more now. Ah, it's really nice. And then it circles. You can take breaks at any time, really. Stop the video or continue the video. Take breaks. Then I do the circles in the other direction. You can play where you put your knees. Put your knees more up. Having the knees apart from each other is always a good idea because of your hip joints. So the hip joints do not restrict the movement. 
if your knees are too close, then you will have a rounded back. That doesn't make any sense at all. To have a rounded back and put the cheek on the floor, that's just crazy. So have your knees uh, apart from each other so that your pelvis can move freely between <laughs> with your hip joints, right? Free movements with your hip joints so you can arch your back instead of round your back. If your knees are too close to each other, uh, you will have a rounded back. Okay, so then put the other arm. I need to check the time. Okay, okay. put the arm under your chest towards the other side. Roll your head to the left and to the right. It's not a stretching exercise. Then bring your other arm towards the ceiling and start to turn the arm around its own axis. Turn, turn, turn and start to feel the movement in your shoulder and go with the movement. The shoulder movement invites the whole chest to roll. Roll forwards, roll backwards, roll forwards, roll backwards until you can start to look at the ceiling, readjust, realign anytime you want. Your body wants to organize better for this movement. And then of course, take a break. I take it now. You can continue or you can take a break. I like pauses. <clears throat> now I feel equal. My whole shoulder girdle feels warm and feels closer to the floor. Actually, I feel my chest, the ribs of my chest are lying closer on the floor right now. I can feel more of my chest is lying on the floor, which means there's less tension in my chest, which means my chest is more flexible because the intercostal muscles aren't clenching anymore, they <laughs> let go. Now I wait until my breath has settled. Okay, that must be enough. Now, for the last time, I return to the second side, put my cheek on the floor, you put your cheek on the floor and then you can check how does it roll, how can your chest, how does your chest roll your head, rolls your cheek on the floor in little circles. That's the whole thing. A lot more flexible in how many minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes and my chest became a lot more flexible. Feels a lot more flexible at least. And next lesson will be about this posture.